Okay, today I'm going to do a quick video on uh, some um, hacking of computer cases. My mom's computer is a compact, as you can see. It's a store bought and kind of a, uh, you know, you can see um, it's got the uh, ATX case, though. I wanted to upgrade her system. She had a single core Sempron, as you can see, which is okay for, um, well, nothing, actually. Not, not really good for anything. But, uh, you can see it had a connector on the motherboard here. It uses a, a special customized connector for, let me try and get it in front of the screen. You can see it's a, kind of an all-in-one instead of how the aftermarket motherboards, they use this, uh, individual connectors. So this, the pinout on this does not match up to the pinout on, uh, on, on regular motherboards. So what I had to do was I went ahead and let me move this one out of the way. I uh, went ahead and I got a salvage from an old computer um, that I had for uh, junk parts. You can see this uh, used to be the pin, uh, all the uh, all the uh, parts that went into the motherboard. You can see I, I chopped that and you can see those right there. And I went ahead and I got the appropriate uh, pieces for uh, the hard power power LED, for the hard drive LED, and for the power switch. This machine does not have a reset switch on it. That's why I have one extra. But basically, I just uh, looked at the appropriate uh, wires, and I haven't I haven't uh, sealed them yet or anything because I wanted to test it, and make sure it's working, and it is. And you can see I've got them all ready to go. I will seal those up properly with some uh, either wire nuts or some uh, barrel. Uh, I think they're called barrel connectors that you crush. But uh, right now, as a, for a test, it is working and all the lights power on properly everything is working and I was able to upgrade my my mom's computer here to uh, from a Sempron single core with uh, like a gig of RAM ran really slow even with Windows XP with hardly just doing basic web browsing and, and uh, stuff like that and uh, upgraded her to a uh, quad core uh, Phenom 2 and 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM runs a whole lot better now um, as you can imagine it's a, a pretty significant upgrade so and it's working real good but if you have any questions about doing that the only problem I had was on one of the uh, ones for the hard drive LED um, I, I put it on backwards when I put it on the motherboard and I just had to uh, uh, you know turn it around 180 degrees and then it functioned correctly so um, kind of a neat uh, neat little hack to uh, get all the lights to work properly as they should. So any questions, uh, send me uh, a message on the uh, comments section and I'll be happy to assist.